Shalom, Israel, Most High, Christ Bless, Soldier Nation, IUIC Boston. Why did you join IUIC? I joined IUIC um, because they had the truth. I was watching many camp videos before I saw IUIC, and um, I ended up reverting back to IUIC because the other camps that was teaching was was not exactly how IUIC was teaching. They were saying some some good things that sounded good, but IUIC seemed the the closest to what was coming out of the scriptures for me. That's that's what made me join IUIC. They seemed like the most official for me. And how long you been with IUIC? So, I would say I started um, a few years ago, but I fell out for like a year. I had to get my mind right. Came back about a year and some change ago, and I, I've been back since. All so praise to the Most High. And what made you decide to look for the Most High? Man, um, I was soul searching for a long time, uh, in and out of the Christian church. My mother's a, a Baptist minister, but I knew something never sat right. Something never sat right with my spirit and uh, going to church. I knew like going to church made me worse. I was hitting the streets, I was hustling, and um, I was living reckless at the end of the day. And um, the last time I went away, I went away for like a year and a half. And um, in that time away, there was a lot of different brothers in prison and many of them were five percenters or Nation of Islam. So, you know, I was just curious, man. I knew it was a God, but I wasn't sure what was the, which one was the right one that we should be following. So I came home in um, like end of 08. And when I came home, I was on a mission. I, I call it soul searching. And um, I looked at, I scratched, I scratched the surface of all of these different religions out there just to see, you know, which, which one is true? What, what are we supposed to believe in? And um, I came across, the last one I, I scraped was Rastafari. And there was a video on his brother's page, at the bottom of his page. I used to go in there and read his Torah, read uh, Psalms and stuff like that. But there was this one day, I'll never forget it. One day I went on uh, his page, and at the bottom of the page it said, IUIC versus Rastafari. And I clicked the link. And the first video I ever saw, IUIC was street teaching. And it blew me away because I was like, yo, they reading the Bible right now? Like, I never saw anybody come out of the scriptures and talk like that in my life. And it was bold. Shout out to Deacon Malachi and now Captain Yon. Them brothers, them brothers brought me into the truth. I would definitely say um, them teaching this brother on the streets. They was cutting this brother up. And everything they said... They backed it up with scriptures. So for me, when I saw that, I was like, these are the men of the Lord, and this thing right here is the truth. So that's what did it for me. So what was the scripture that sealed the deal for you to come in the truth? Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Deuteronomy okay. 7 and 6 says, uh, let me get it so I don't jack it up. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So when I heard that, I never realized that we was we was never meant to be in you know inferior to the other nations. Like they the so-called white man, they have us feeling inferior to them. But the scripture says that we are above all nations. And what makes you continue to stay with IUIC? Um, the brotherhood and unity and our leadership guiding us in the right direction. Uh, the, the fruits, the fruits bear with the fruits bear witness that uh, you know these these men are leading us in the right direction. So that that's why I choose to stick around with IUIC. Can you quote your favorite scripture? Romans three and three. Romans just three. Just quote it. Just quote it. Um, for what if some did not believe? Try to make the faith of God without effect. God forbid. That's one of my favorite scriptures. So, um, if if it's not coming out of this Bible, then it's not the truth. When I heard this thing, when I heard that, I was like, yeah, that's it. That's that's definitely one of my favorite scriptures. Oh, praises to the Most High.
a Jew with sound art For years I've been walking around saying that I'm a black man I ain't singing that no more, it's sound art, man This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ Please subscribe to our YouTube channels Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram. Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.